Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Cancer. It's not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Cancer placement you resonate with, messages may also resonate. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen will all be linked and listed. We'll pull oracles at the end and give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, here we go, Cancer. First card out. Queen of Swords, followed by the Ace of Swords. Lots of swords. Could have air energy in your chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be dealing with someone that has a lot of air in their chart. A lot of clarity going on here. Also could be some sort of communication that you are having or conversation that you are going to have that is going to make things very clear. You could be the one making it very clear to someone or a group of people. But definitely truth, clarity, victory, all that. Also could be some cutting off of some ties here. Cutting of ties. What else do we have for cancer, please? I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. What we got here? Some flippers. We've got the Queen of Cups, water sign energy. It definitely could be you. Could be dealing with another Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. The Five of Wands. Major Arcana, the Strength card, Leo energy. So by the end of Leo season, something's about to pop off here. One more card for Cancer, please. One more card to, for Cancer. Yeah, you are going to be setting the record straight. And I do think it's surrounding some sort of group of people, whether a community, friend circle, family, where they're just petty, bitter, and you want nothing to do with it. And I do think this is probably something or a group of, or a community that is close to your heart. Because with the strength card next to it, it's saying that you, it's not going to be easy. It's difficult for you to cut this off or to let these people know, put them where they belong, you know, set boundaries to cut them off. It's not something that wasn't an easy decision or it's not going to be an easy task. Definitely something that requires strength. But it's like, you got to do it. You got to do it. It's like essential for yourself, for the love of self. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is something that's taking you a very long time to do. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. But you going to do it. You've been procrastinating. You've been not wanting to do it. Some of you definitely need to work environment with all these Pentacles. You've been uh, reluctant to do something to cut something off you've been stagnating you've been what's it stalling but now you're seeing that you got to do it it's now or never because it's getting out of hand five energy five energy is it's change energy not so nice group of people you got around you here that you're dealing with and i think you're seeing it more and more clearly and in order for you to get break into the new you got to do it you got to set some boundaries here you got to stand your ground you got to speak your truth you got to say what's on your mind for some of you it's definitely for a job position or something but you're not gonna you're not gonna let it slide that easy you're not gonna back down from something if you've been procrastinating you're not gonna be procrastinating much longer you've been biting your tongue i don't see that happening much longer either you're gonna say what you gotta say the queen of swords is no hesitation she'll let you have it Yeah, the Queen of Cups here could also be saying you maybe want to do it with love. I don't even think so. I think this is more so for the love of yourself because it's coming in with the Seven of Wands. For the love of yourself, you need to speak up and say exactly how it is you're thinking it. You need to stand up to these people with the Strength card here. I do think also this is going to mature you spiritually and could also be financially. It's going to advance you in some way because we have progress here with... Going from the, pen, the the page all the way to the king. This is going to advance you spiritually, financially. But you got to work up the courage to do it. You got to grow some balls here. This could be happening or needing to be happening by the end of Leo season. For some of you, it's definitely surrounding finances and stability. And you know better than to let someone play with your money. Or anybody. Friends, family, whoever it is. Guidance for Cancer, please. So you could be dealing with Leo, Heavy Earth, Sign Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Air, Sign Energy, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, or another water sign. Expect powerful change. So if, you th if you're biting your tongue now, I do also could feel something's going to happen where it's going to trigger you to move. You're very close to achieving your goal. Sorry, this sage is smoking me out. You're very close to achieving your goal. There's something here that's going to be benefited 
or you're going to benefit from once you do this, once you decide to speak up, once you decide to bark back. Guidance for Cancer, please. Also could be that you aren't aware that some people were doing some things behind your back. But once you find out, once you see exactly what's going on, then you're able to make the moves you need to make. Ant spirit, time to collaborate. So, so a lot of you, this is work. And for a lot of you, this if this is love, I don't see much love. Then there's people that won't be happy with your decision to move in this particular decision, this particular direction you want to move in. But who cares? They ain't holding, they ain't loving you at night. Wombat spirit, be at home. If it is a love connection, let me see for cancer guidance. It's like, who cares what you got to say? I don't. Guidance for cancer, please. Yeah, you got to stand your ground. You got to defend something. Some of you are choosing to commit to something and people will not be happy about that. We have here, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Mm -hmm. You're trying to contain yourself. You're trying to keep yourself from doing something is what I'm getting. Or saying something. And it's saying, don't do that. Say what you need to say. Get it off your chest. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment. Yeah. Yeah, for some of you, it's like an ex situation or something like that. And you don't want, you know, you're afraid of what they might think. Who cares? Guidance. Rip the band aid off. The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. So you don't know it yet, but once you're able to speak your mind, it's like an un Lionsgate portal too. We just had that. You speaking your mind and standing up for yourself and standing your ground and placing boundaries is what's going to propel you forward. It's going to advance you big time. Going from the little leagues to the big leagues. Guidance. Cancer. Yeah, some of you are being booed up with the ant spirit time to collaborate and to be at home. Some of you are going to be booed up and a lot of people ain't going to like it. Oh, well. Cuffing season approaches. <laughs> Don't be mad because you, you didn't get cuffed. And for a lot of you, this is a new connection. Definitely a new connection. Your best is more than enough, I promise. This is very much giving it. This is dating. This is based on dating. You've been dating some people and nothing been happening. And you meet someone new and it just progresses nicely, beautifully, naturally. You're allowing yourself to go with the flow. But other people are going to be upset about it. But it's like you had the opportunity and did nothing. And I just met this person and they can see exactly what I'm worth. Why the hell would I circle the block? Why would I leave someone that saw my potential, that saw my worth off the bat for someone that had took took me someone else seeing it to see it so this is this is um a great deal for you too spiritually so all these people that rejected you and whatever now they're mad it was a lesson for you big time that's what's also leveling you up expect powerful change all right, Cancer, that is your reading. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.